Hi, this is Jessica. I'm going to do a demonstration of Scanner Pro and Adobe Fill and Sign. And I have a copy stand here with a print document propped up on it. This document comes from the Brigance Transition Skills Activities student book. So let's say this is a, a process that a student in an SDC class in high school or in a transition program might do. We're practicing filling out applications because this document is mainly asking for text to be filled out and not any kind of drawing. This using Adobe Fill and Sign is going to be a fine choice. So let me show you the two apps we're going to use. Scanner Pro by Rialto and Adobe Fill and Sign. I open up Scanner Pro. I've already set some of my defaults like black and white and an eight and a half by 11 page. I just tap the orange plus at the bottom to get a picture to add a document. It, it might find it automatically or because the light is low, I might give it a help out and tap the picture button. One page. I tap the one at the bottom right, and there we have our application on the screen. Actions is an option up at the top, and I want to show you this one feature of Scanner Pro <clears throat> that it will recognize the text. It does OCR, so it's recognizing the text right now after I tap that option. I'm showing this to you quickly because it's cool. Um, then we'll get back to just filling it out. So it finished processing. Now I have show as text. If I tap that, I have the document that I can um, listen to if I have speak screen set up on my iPad. So if I pull down from the top of the screen with two fingers. Date, employment applications. Activity seven, filling out a complex employment application directions. Provide the correct information to complete the application right neatly and clearly. Application for employment name name. So there we go. We could use this as a preview before we open it up in Adobe Fill and Sign and start working at this, this, with this document. Let me go ahead and hit done for that. I'm back to the page where we're processing this. Now there is the button in the upper right to do something, action button um, with the box with the arrow coming out at the top. I'm gonna tap that and I wanna choose the option to open in and I get several options. If I scroll to the, I find Adobe Fill and Sign. When I tap that, it's going to open up this document in Adobe Fill and Sign. Now I can zoom in on the screen. And the nice feature about Adobe Fill and Sign is the ease of how you can just add a text box. So I'm going to tap on the line after name. And I get a text box. I have an option to change the font size real easily or to go back to adding some checks. But right now I'm just going to use dictation. Jessica. So it filled in that box for me. So if I come down here, let's say, oh, I got to fill in my social security number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, let me do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That filled that in for me. Okay. Now there's a full time and a part time box. Right here, I could use a longer tap hold on the screen, and I could use this check mark feature to add a check mark to the full time box. Okay. That's basically what you do. Now, if I'm done with this, I can take this document. In the bottom right, I have my action button again with the box with the arrow coming out of the top. And I can tap that in order to do something now with this document. I can email it. I can add it to my Dropbox or Google Docs, print it, do what I need to. All right. 